Hello friends, greetings to you in the matchless and powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Here we are to bring the word of God into your hearts so that you will be equipped for the glory of God and experience the power of God in your lives. As we are going to so many places to preach the word of God and to share the good news about Jesus Christ, so many young people come to us and they ask us, brother, is it possible to live a godly life in this contaminated world. And many people would say, it's not easy to live a godly life in this world. I'm saying that it's not easy, but it's not impossible. But Jesus has set an example for all of us when he lived in this world. He lived a perfect life, a blameless and spotless one. And God desires that we all should live a godly life. Here we are to tell you some instructions from the Word of God and some guidelines from the Word of God how to live a godly life in this world. We hope this message will bless you and give you great courage and boldness to live for God. Here is the first point for godly living. Have God as your number one priority. We all have priorities in our lives. The Bible says in James chapter 4 and verse 8, Come near to God and He will come near to you. Every day we must come closer to God. And the Bible says God promises that He will come closer to us when we look unto Him. When we set good priorities for God, God will take time to bless us. That's why the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, Seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness first, then all things shall be added unto you. Every day when we come close to God, we will experience the power and glory of God in our lives. Our relationship with God is two-way street. God made himself available to us and loved us so much more than anything. Come close to God and you will see the blessing of God. The second point for godly living is this. Set your mind on things above and not on earthly things. Every day when you wake up in the morning, set apart some time to read the word of God and to meditate on the word of God. In Psalm chapter 1, David says, He who meditates on the word of God is like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which will yield its fruit in its season. If you want to live a fruitful life, if you want to live a life that's a blessing to those around you, it is important that you meditate and read the word of God. Feed on the word of God every morning and it will give you the strength to live a righteous and holy life in this world. The third important point for godly living is this. It can be found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Pray continually. We are commanded in God's word to pray more. To pray more. More prayer, more power. Less prayer less power and no prayer no power god wants us to pray more in his presence that's what the bible says in matthew chapter 7 and verse 7 ask and it shall be given unto you when we ask in god's presence he is our provider he is our jehovah jireh he provides everything to us when we ask in his presence praying is nothing but talking to god it's a wonderful and spectacular communication with almighty god my dear friend, don't neglect to pray. Pray more and receive God's blessing. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18, we see the fourth point for godly living. In everything, give thanks. Have an attitude of gratitude. Many times we forget all the benefits and blessings that God has given us. Sometimes the devil comes to our ear and whispers, Has God done anything to you? Remember when you have such a thought in your mind, count your blessings and then you will soon realize that God has done so much for you and you will be filled with gratitude. And having an attitude of gratitude will actually bring many more blessings into your life. The fifth point for godly living is this. Romans chapter 12 and verse 9. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Yes. We are here in this world to love good and to hate the evil. Problems will come in our lives when we choose the evil. The world is full of evil things, evil people, 
when they entice you, don't listen to them. Don't hear them. We are called for heavenly purposes. God has called us and redeemed us by his precious blood to choose good in the world. God has set you apart for a purpose. My dear friend, if you become immersed in the ways of this world, you will forget your calling and your purpose. And eventually, the devil will take you back from the blessing of God. The final point for godly living is this. Be filled with the Spirit of God and bear the fruit of the Spirit. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, we see the fruit of the Spirit as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Every day is a new opportunity to practice the fruit of the Spirit in your life. When people around you see that you have the fruit of the Spirit in your life, they will know that you are the child of God and they will be attracted to God through your life and through your testimony. We hope and pray that you will bear the fruit of the Spirit and walk a godly life and that God would be glorified through your life. Let's close our eyes and pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity to dive into your word, to know what to do for a godly life. Thank you, Lord, that you died for us on the cross of Calvary, rose again on the third day to give us a victorious life to lead a holy walk in this contaminated world. I pray for all the people who are watching this program. Bless them abundantly and exceedingly and let them live for you, Lord, in this world. And uh, shower your power upon them to make good decisions for you and to give thanks to you in everything and to pray continually and to bear spiritual fruits in their lives. We love you and we thank you. Let thy favor come upon each and every one and use us for your glory and for the expansion of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.